this is David. Today we're going to talk about release pipelines in Azure DevOps. If you watched the last video, you saw, saw me create a, a pipeline that did a retrieved code from source control, restored an environment, compiled that code, ran all the tests, and then published that out to uh, some location. Uh, and that's all good, but it verifies that our, our application builds and gives us some confidence that it's running correctly because of the tests. However, it doesn't do anything for our end users. We don't actually have a chance to actually see it and it hasn't been deployed anywhere. To do that, we have to release this published code here. So we could do that under release, and I'm gonna release the same pipeline artifacts that I created last time. I've, all the unit tests are now working and checked in, and I ran this thing just a few minutes ago. Uh, so I'm going to create now a release pipeline to take the output of this and push it out to a an Azure app service. Remember we built a, a .NET Core, ASP.NET Core web app and put that in our source control and that's the project we're actually building here. Now I want to deploy that to Azure. I'll do that with a release pipeline. So I click on releases here underneath pipelines. I'll select new pipeline and then Right here, I want to, in my stage one, I want to specify what I want to do. And I can scroll down here and find it, or I can search for it. It'll be Azure App, there it is right at the top, Azure App Service Deployment. That's what I want to do. Now I have this, you see that little red exclamation point says something's missing. I need to click on the task inside of here and tell it what I'm going to do. I can tell, give it a name, I'll say, uh, you know, app service something like that and here in the parameters I have to specify the Azure subscription most of you only have one of these but I actually have multiple ones so I select that and then what do I want to do I want to do a web app on Windows that sounds good to me that's exactly what I do that the by selecting that template that worked uh, what's the name of that app now I have to create that ahead of time and I did I just now created an app I called a DG test Gcast and that's an app service in here if you want to know how to do that I actually have a video in this series that shows you how to create an app service. So in here, if, if I refresh it, it'll refresh that list, but it was already there probably. There it is, GG test Gcast. And now I'm good to go in here. I'll save that. Okay, and I'll go back to my pipeline. And I need to tell it in the artifact, I have to say, what's the source? What are the binaries that I actually want to push out to Azure? So let me grab that. The source is what's going to come out of this build pipeline right here. And I'll just take the defaults here. I want the latest version, and that alias is fine. So I'll add that. All right, now I'll save it. And I probably should put a comment in here to say, you know, initial revision. All right, treat this as source control. Kind of makes sense to have a documentation of any changes that I make to that. Now I have a pipeline, and I want to create a release from that pipeline. And a release is just saying I'm going to take the compiled code that came out of the build pipeline, and I'm going to deploy it somewhere, in this case to an Azure App Service. So let me create that release. It'll be release one. Actually, before I do that, you know what? I should probably change the name of this right here. New release pipeline isn't really that uh, descriptive. Let me say publish uh, ASP.NET app to Azure web app, something like that. All right, that sounds good. I'll save that. Comment. Change title. All right, now I'm going to create a release right here. And I'm going to take the defaults. I can override them if I want to, but I'll just click on create just so we can see it in action. And now release one has been created. These are just numbered sequentially. So release one is the first one. If I click on it, I can see some details about it. You can see that right now it is queued up, and just like with the build pipeline, there is an agent that on which this will host this whole process. And this is uh, not in real time. Sometimes it doesn't fresh right away, but I can click on it and see what's going on and the output of the log. This is getting logged. You can look at this later on, but sometimes it's really nice to see what's going on as it's happening. So right now it's initializing it, it's getting the the binaries that were output from my build pipeline, and it's pushing them to the Azure App Service. And it's done. Succeeded. 
Well, let's check that out. Was it succeeded? If we go back over to here, here's my app service. Let me look at this. And there's my code right here. It just says welcome. And I can come in here and actually change this. So let, let's make a change and go through that process again. So if I come in here and I look at this app right here, and I think about the easiest thing to do is to change this page right here. So instead of saying uh, welcome, it says welcome, uh, edit, welcome to GCast right here, and I'll commit that change, and then I'll run my pipelines. So first I'll run the build pipeline right here, run this pipeline, run, and it's all queued up. This takes about a minute and a half, so I'm going to pause the video now and come back when this is done successfully. And we were back a minute and 38 seconds is how long that took to run this build pipeline. And the output is uh, the binary files from this uh, our source control from our ASP.NET Core web app. And now we want to go into this release pipeline and run that. So we're going to create another release. I'll take the defaults here. We'll call that release 2. Let's drill down into that and see that it's queued up come in here and let's just watch it go. This one doesn't take very long so we'll hang around and wait for an agent to get ready and for this to start running on that agent and the output from the logs. And now it's deploying to Azure and it's done. So what should happen now is we've made that change and we should see that change pushed out to our website. And there it is, changed in here. So now we have two, two different pipelines. One for doing our build, getting the course code, compiling it, running all tests, pushing all the binaries out to a, a specific location, and a release one which takes those binaries and deploys it to an Azure web app automatically that we can see running right here. This is David. Thank you for watching. <music>